All right, so this is the Harley that uh, my wife and I used to own, but we sold it to uh, 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 this woman named Tina, and she's a good friend now, and uh, anyway, she needed some help with uh, replacing the, uh, the brake pads, so that's what I'm doing today, and I'm going to try to eliminate her belt squeak, and we're going to look at the alignment of the uh, back tire and whatnot and get that to stop and make sure it has a proper um tension on the belt but anyway so i'm just going to start with the front brakes okay so basically it's pretty easy but um you got these two bolts oh, let me show you right here okay and these don't lose the washers you but these mount the caliper to right here the actual fork so the caliper uh, mounts and bolts to the fork here so you got to you know loosen these two take them out and then it takes a little effort but i had to wiggle and and move it back and forth but i finally got it to pop off the rotor and the size here for those is number six number six hex and and i and i like the hex sockets they're real handy versus just a, an actual um you know, like a hex wrench, like an L-shaped wrench. I think this is a much better deal here. You can get these usually at AutoZone pretty cheap for like a whole set of metric. Anyway, number six. Pop, you know, pop those two bolts loose. And it comes off. And, of course, you have it attached to this brake line. So you don't want it to have it dangling. So I was carefully, you know, I, I got some towels and stuff and put it on top of the fender against the, the boot here. So it's going to stay right there. And now I will... um remove the uh the old brake pads clean it up a little bit and put the new ones on i don't have a cameraman but um basically you're gonna have to uh force the uh piston cups that uh are behind that one brake pad okay you're gonna have to uh put two i got a flathead screwdriver and like a what is this i don't know it's, i think it's for wood but you want to put an object flat, a couple of them maybe is the best way, and then put them right in the middle of that brake pad, okay? And then you're going to go in opposite directions. I can't really show you, but you get one hand and you pull down on the blue one, and the orange one I'm going to push forward that way, okay? So like that, and then it'll, it'll slowly force the uh, piston cups back, in their position to where it'll open up the spot for the brake pad so you can get them out okay now now it should come loose and be able to pull them out all right all right so the next step is you got a cotter pin right and it goes through a little hole uh, let's see right here see that hole Okay, it's going to go through that hole and lock it in. So you got to pull that cotter pin out, and then you're going to have your brakes still on the pin, right? And you're going to be like, how the heck do I get these off? And they're going to be stuck in like that, right, once you release them from the other side. Well, you got to get a punch, okay? And this is, should have a size on here, let me see. No, it doesn't. Anyway, it's going to be fairly small. I want to say one eighth, about a one eighth diameter punch. And you're going to come in from this side. You have this uh, portion here. Okay, on this side, you're going to drive it with a hammer, and you're going to just bang, bang. You know, not too crazy, but and it, it'll it'll drive it all the way out. And here's what it looks like when you get it out. And here's that little portion that kind of locks it inside there. Well, that's why you got to use that punch because you have this raised up little bushing here that locks it in all right so bam now your pads will come out and now you can see these are kind of worn i mean they're pretty thin but now we can get this pull this out okay there you go and there's your two piston cups see them one on either side that's what you have to gently push back from the center. Make sure you're in the center so you don't cock these things. If you cock them, 
off to one side or put pressure off to one side when you're trying to force them back you're going to damage this piston and it won't operate correctly you have to get a whole new caliper uh, more than likely so be careful when you do that but just push it back enough to to get, give you room to get the brake pads free on this side and to pull up and over and then you got to drive that pull that cotter pin and drive that pin through and then they then they come out okay just like that now i'm gonna get some brake clean and clean this up a little bit get some of the dust off and then i'll put the new pads on all right so this is the uh the brake uh pads that uh, tina got they're x dash lai brake pads um through amazon so she um, typed in the information for her motorcycle and um, these came up as a direct fit so and they look like they match I've compared them those are the new ones and here's the old ones so they look exactly the same well, now these got copper they're copper infused you see that shiny kind of cool huh supposedly it's supposed to work better than traditional um, like these are just basic uh, I believe they're semi-metallic which they make a lot of dust, so I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if these wouldn't be a better, but we'll find out. So anyway, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip these over, and this surface here, right, don't put any on this, on the pads themselves, only on the back of them. And I got some CRC disc brake quiet, and it comes off, comes out like a red um, color, and it'll put like a, a thin layer of, it's almost like a silicone type, um, uh, consistency to it when it dries but that'll help any squeaks coming from your brakes it'll eliminate that I'm gonna do that and then we'll put them on all right so once the disc brake uh, quiet uh, after you apply it on the back of the brake pads uh, you let it sit for 10 minutes so it gets tacky and then you just go ahead and put the brake pads back in you're gonna put this pin back through it only goes one way okay so it has to come out being driven this way but when you go to put it back in it's got to be driven that way the opposite way and uh, so your, your little hole is going to be on this side of the pin and you're going to have this um, oh it's like a, a shim to uh, make it go drive in tight and I can't do it while I'm holding the camera but uh, hold on all right so I drove the pin in and it's going to go in far enough right where you're going to be able to see that hole you see that little hole right in between here that's for your cotter pin see that okay and the cotter pin is going to go it has like an l shape to it but yeah so it's going to go with that tang sticking out this way just like that and you're just going to slip it in and push it all the way in well in any case it's gonna look like that okay with it you know see that little bent part is gonna face this way all right and you're gonna push it all the way until it gets secured in there all right I was wrong you're gonna actually put that little bent tab on that uh, cotter pin it's gonna face that way Okay, the opposite way and you're going to rotate this pin that hole is facing straight down this way because if you bump in, into that brake pad here it's going to make it come off where it's supposed to be and you won't have that nice open gap to get it over your rotor okay all right okay because i uh opened up the uh or I, I forced the pistons back in and opened up the uh, gap between the brake pads when I put the new ones on. Uh, so it just slides real easy right over that rotor. You don't have to work it back and forth or force it. You shouldn't have to. You just slip right over, no problem. And you just, bam, put your main caliper bolts back in. Snug them up real good. Don't over tighten them too much. You can snap them. They're not too, too big of a bolt, okay? And then that's it. You're done. Now, you want to work the brakes, obviously, but uh, to get the pistons back out where they should be again on that caliper. But we're going to check her brake fluid because when I'm looking at it, 
The lighting's bad right here. It's really dark. Let me see here. Let me try to get my flash on here. Hold on. Hmm. Hold on. So I can't really show you because I can't get my light, my camera, to, and my phone to work. But there's a sight glass right here, and there's a line. There's a little straight line that says minimum. So the oil level should be at the very minimum right at the level of that line that goes across well if you turn if you get the bike and you bring it up level is how you should check it right so the bike has to be level and then uh if you tilt it back and forth you should see some kind of uh movement of oil level in there right i don't see anything so we're gonna um take those two screws loose and open up this uh reservoir and see uh if it need, we need to t uh, top it off okay Okay. Alright, so we checked our brake fluid at the reservoir up top right there, and it's good. It's full, and the, the, the color quality is good. It's a light brown still, so she doesn't need to change it at this point. Um, so the front brakes are good, now we're doing the back. To do the back, you want to remove this um, bolt that kind of holds the, the back brake line to the, to the uh, swing arm. Okay. And it is a number five hex. Okay, number five. Five millimeter. Okay. Take that deal out, and then this is free. Okay. Now we want to get this bolt and this bolt loose, and this and this whole caliper will come off like the front one did. Okay. And those are gonna be bigger, and those are a six six millimeter okay all right so it helps if you move the passenger foot peg down okay and it gives you more of an area to turn your wrench all right so i would suggest doing that it's helpful all right so um i'm telling you this is the best way to get these off the front and the back you need to get a set of those hex um sockets Okay, metric. And you don't use an extension. You just put the socket on like it is, and it's the perfect fit to get in here and get this loose. Time to back up. This shock's a little bit in the way. I mean, it is close, but it's very doable. And um, you can just get right past it once you get those bolts loose. And you can just wiggle it a little bit, and it'll come loose. I got it sitting right here. I'm going to put some rags down here and whatnot to protect the bike from any scratching. And I'm going to change these brake pads out. And it should be, it looks like it's the same setup as the front, the same way you get them off with that pin. And you have that cotter pin, you got to kind of tap that pin through to get the brakes loose and out. You're obviously, you're going to have to go in there, like I was saying before, with those two flat screwdrivers or whatever. Put them right here in the middle, and you're going to go opposite of, of each other. When you're, you're going to push with one and pull down with the other, and it's going to spread. It's going to put pressure on this brake pad and... Um, Push the piston cups back. I'm sorry, down here. <laughs> push the piston cups back down enough to open this up, so to where when you go to put it back on with the fresh brake pads, it'll go over this rotor real easy. You won't have to fight it at all. Okay. So again, you want to put your flat tool in here in the middle, and maybe another one next to it, and you're just going to gently go opposite directions and put pressure on that brake pad, the old one, to push those pistons back to open to open this up right in here. And then you're gonna pull that cotter pin. Okay, just it's just like the same as the front. You got a cotter pin, all right? And it goes straight down like that. Pull that out. And then you're gonna come from this side, right here. Okay, so here's the pistons up in here to the caliper, and you're gonna drive down with that punch and you're gonna knock that pin through. Okay. Okay, so the best way to drive that pin out is to set your caliper on top of this, uh, there goes my brakes, <laughs> brake pads there. I pulled the pin out already. But anyways, so I drove it with the punch, but I put pressure, put the weight of this caliper on that um, passenger uh, foot peg. That way I wouldn't be trying, you know, putting a dent in this muffler by wailing on it with its, well, even with these rags, it might still put a dent. So put it right on top of here. 
Or you could have a second person hold it while you do it. Hold it in the air with both hands while you drive it down. It doesn't take a lot of, of, you know, pressure with the hammer. You just kind of tap, 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 and it pops through. Okay, and it's the same. I'll show you right here. Ah, it's the same kind of pen. Looks like that. Okay. <clears throat> and then the brake pads will just fall right out, see? All right. Now I'm going to clean it up and put the uh, disc brake uh, quiet on the new pads and put them in and we're done. Okay, so the new brake pads are in with the anti or the brake quiet, whatever. Brake disc quiet, okay? Then you're going to put it back on that peg. Get your punch and drive this down in enough, right? It's just going to barely go inside the hole a little bit and then That'll expose over on this side the hole to put the cotter pin. All right, and you make sure you put all that back together. Then throw it over the rotor and tighten it back. Put everything back on there. Okay. Exact same way you, you do the back as you do the front. It's just that the uh, you know it's a little bit tighter back here to get those two main bolts loose, but it's doable. That's how far in the bolt recesses down in there. Not very much like a sixteenth of an inch maybe below the surface of right here okay you gotta rotate that pin to where the hole is going straight down not off to the side okay just like that and then you're gonna put the cotter pin in just like that oh, sorry and uh... you know that tab should face that way Okay should face your, your brake line and just push it all the way in until you make sure it clicks in and it's where it's supposed to be. Okay. All right. Actually, you're going to um, put the cotter pin in the, the other way. It looks like it fits better that way. Um, and it won't be in the way of anything. Okay. Alright, so again, on these main uh, caliper bolt mounting bolts, do not over tighten too much. You'll snap the bolt. They're not very big bolts. Just get it nice and snug, but don't, don't he-man it, okay? Now, you, on the front and the back, you're going to have to pump the brakes, okay, until you feel pressure build back up, okay, because when you open up those calipers, you know, when you open up the gap in between the... Um, the old brake pads and whatnot it's it's taking pressure out of the system of that of the caliper itself so when you go to press on the brakes you won't feel nothing until you start pumping and then it'll it'll force uh, fluid back into the calipers and it'll everything will tighten up okay so make sure you do that before you go on your initial test drive after you uh, replace the brakes very important safety another happy customer brakes are good later Tina Ha, ha, ha.